change. This world has some pretty awesome technology. Why don't we have that at our disposal? Why aren't we applying everything that we have? We all know that humanity is in great trouble. We can together work for change. We don't need leaders telling us what to do. We can just do it. We can get out there. We can, we can turn and talk to our neighbor and engage in conversation and find out what their perspective is. Find out, find out what other people's problems are. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to anybody up here with the microphone. You can just make your own decisions yourself. <clears throat> we don't need all these useless things that we're directing our energy towards in society. We don't need to buy useless plastic items that break and end up in a landfill two years later, only to buy the same things over and over and over and over again. Our industry used to make quality goods. It doesn't anymore. Our industry makes landfills. We used to have a society that had dreams. We used to have vision. What happened to that? What made us change? What made us get all preoccupied with money and uh, wealth and accumulation? We used to want to feed the world. Well, why haven't we done that yet? The technology is there. Um, I, I heard a startling, startling fact about if you took all of the roofs of the buildings in New York and you turned them into greenhouses and you grew food on, on just the roofs of all the buildings in New York, you could feed all of the United States that way. So why are there still people hungry? Why? And why do we keep crawling to these guys to fix the problems when, when they're just deflecting the issues and they keep rearing their ugly heads over and over again? I think this movement's about something greater than just out with the old, in with the old, you know, let's, let's put in some new politicians in there to get corrupt all over again. This movement is about ending the cycle of rich taking advantage of the poor, the uprising of the poor, to create yet another system in where the rich take advantage of the poor. This, this movement is about the one change that humanity needs to take. Everybody needs to have the courage to take this step. You can't just say, oh, that won't work. These are new times. Things that have failed in the past might actually just work for change. This is about ending the cycle that we keep putting ourselves into. And we don't have to, we don't, we don't actually have to, you know, create a rich class to take advantage of us anymore. Everybody knows that that's what's going to happen. We, we put somebody in a seat of power to voice our concerns for us. Some of us, you know, some of us get ignored, you know, and, and our representatives aren't actually representing all of us. And, uh, that's a shame because I think we can all make a consensus here today that there are problems that we all agree on and there's problems that we disagree on and we need to learn to agree to disagree we need to we need to expand our, ourselves outside of the box that we stuck ourselves into <clears throat> we have a chance here to really create the greatest change that humanity has ever experienced. So what is really holding all of you back?